It's a, it's a pleasure to welcome you in Rome. Okay. okay, dear colleagues, it's a pleasure to welcome you in Rome today for this G20 summit. First of all, I'd like to say that uh, it's great to see you, all of you here, after a difficult few years for the global community. The pandemic has kept us apart, as it did with all our citizens. And even before, we faced protectionism, unilateralism, nationalism. But the more we go with, uh, with the, all our challenges, the more it is clear that multilateralism is the best answer to the problems we face today. In many ways, it's the only possible answer. From the pandemic to climate change to fair and equitable taxation, going it alone is simply not an option. We must, we must do all we can to overcome our differences. And we must rekindle the spirit that led to the creation of this group. Almost two years since the start of the pandemic, we can finally look at the future with great or with some optimism. Successful vaccination campaigns and coordinated action from governments and central banks have allowed the global economy to rebound. Many of our countries have launched recovery plans to boost growth, reduce inequalities, promote sustainability. Together, we are building a new economic model, and the world will be all the better for it. However, we must be aware of the challenges we face collectively. The pandemic is not over. And there are startling disparities in the global distribution of vaccines. In high-income high countries, more than 70% of the population has received at least one dose. In the poorest ones, this percentage drops to roughly 3%. These differences are morally unacceptable and undermine the global recovery. We are close to meeting the WHO's target of vaccinating 40% of the global population by the end of 2021. Now, we must do, we must do all we can to reach 70% by mid-2022. We must also continue to invest in research eliminate trade barriers affecting COVID-19 vaccines and enhance predictability in their delivery. And we need to strengthen supply chains while expanding vaccine manufacturing capacity at local and regional level. As a G20 presidency, Italy has worked to promote a more equitable recovery. The Global Health Summit in Rome saw countries and companies make generous vaccine pledges for poorer countries. We must make sure we honor them now. We reached a story, historic agreement for a fairer and more effective international tax system. We oversaw the allocation of $650 billion in the new special drawing rights and endorse the possibility of redistributing them to the countries that are most in need. These results are a powerful reminder of, of what we can achieve collectively. We must encourage us to be just as ambitious in all the areas where we work together. It's now my pleasure to give the word 
to Saudi Arabia's King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. There is a video message here from the King, from the King uh, of Saudi Arabia. Thank you. Please. 